11 and 7 would mean Philip Broberg draws into the lineup. And up on the site right now at OilersNation.com, you have a bit of a deep dive on what you're yeah. maybe not seeing from Philip Broberg right now. Well, it's interesting because he's a young defenseman. And typically with young defensemen, they probably struggle to defend a little bit more than yeah. attack. But with him, he's, his one-on-one defending is actually pretty good. But he's not doing anything with his feet. He doesn't move with the puck. And I feel like that's what is kind of drifted away from his game a little bit recently and maybe why he isn't playing. And to put it simply, he's not doing anything to put himself in the lineup ahead of the left side, which is already so yeah. so stacked with Nurse Ekholm and, and Kulak. So I'm just kind of wondering what they're going to do with him. I feel like going to Bakersfield might just be the best thing for him because I know you've got these softer games, but he's not doing it. Maybe he'll do it a little bit um, easier opponents in Bakersfield and Ryan Murray coming back. Is that a coincidence? Like, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of an interesting thing to, that's all kind of happening. It right almost now. feels like he's not doing anything to force his way into the lineup, but not playing like so he's, bad that he deserves he, to be taken out. He's thing. just kind of, but again, Sean, he gets like six minutes a game. So how hard yeah. can it be for a D man to get comfortable and start to feel like, ah, I can take some rushes up the ice here when you're playing like three shifts a period. Yeah. It's extremely hard. Like all, mm. all you want to do when you're that defenseman is you're like, Hey, don't mess up. Don't mess up. And then boom, you mess up. And then all of a sudden you're sitting back on the bench. So it's hard to find that juju, if you will. Right. So for him, like if you watch his game down in the minors, he's a smooth skating defenseman. He's a good puck mover. Yeah. Um, he just exudes confidence, but then up here, he's just trying to find his way. And, and obviously we talked about that, that left side being extremely stacked. Well, where do you find yourself in that picture? If you're Philip Broberg, because mm. you're not getting, you know, nurse minutes, you're not going to get echo minutes. Oh. And really Kulak is a really good defensive hockey player. So, you know, for him, he's going to have, it's a little bit more tough sledding. And, and I think Holland's track record also suggests that they're just going to slow burn him. Yeah. Uh, that does seem to be the way he likes to handle these. You think back to Bouchard in that uh, bubble year, not bubble year, the all Canadian year yeah. when he just hung out on the NHL <laughs> roster and didn't play a game for like 60 days or whatever it was. It was crazy. It's the thing with Broberg, he's not really doing anything. He's not doing anything wrong. No. Like he, his game is almost just too simple to do anything wrong at the moment. I think maybe that's what's holding him back a little bit, but being in the NHL is never a bad thing for a defenseman too. Like you just mentioned, uh, it's the exact same thing they did with uh, Bouchard, right? He just mm -hmm. he hung out, but I think they feel that they can develop him because, I mean, if you watch a morning skate, he's out there for an additional hour mm -hmm. just working on his skill set. So, you know, I know that Manson does a really good job of de developing young defensemen, and I think they probably feel comfortable in this situation. Yeah.